Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Um, the one I wanted to post today is about stadiums. But before we get into stadiums, I just want to give a little bit of an update as to what my lineup looks like right now. So I know on the YouTubes, I, I'm really avoiding intros right now. So a, a lot of people are wondering what the uh, the lineup looks like. And as of right now, this is what I got. Also, what I'm working towards, I'm working towards the collection on Joe Mauer. So that's why I'm not really building up like my stuff. I mean, I'm just trying to build my stuff count, but I'm not really buying other guys right now. And then uh, just pull this Freddie Freeman. But overall, I would say a pretty like lackluster team at this point right now. But uh, focusing on getting Joe Maurer. But the reason why you clicked on this video is to wonder what are the best stadiums in the game to play on and what are the best time of day to play on. I've had this question a lot, so I thought I'd make a quick little video just going through my thoughts on stadiums and how they play. I'm going to start with a couple absolutely do not. And the first one is Bayfront Park. Uh, while it looks like a really fun park, it just does not play well at all. It's an exit velo prison. It really just like it sucks the life out of every baseball that's hit there. So I would definitely avoid Bayfront if you can. Another one that just plays really, really odd is uh, Red Rock Stadium. You don't really see it used that much online. But as far as minor league stadiums go, because I will cover some major league stadiums in a little bit. But uh, Red Rock doesn't play very well to me. It never really has. And when you're playing online or watching a stream or watching a YouTube video, I feel like you know a lot of the stadiums, but you probably haven't heard of this one. It's because it's not very good. And then another one that to me doesn't play very well is Franco Park. I think it's just uh, similar to Bayfront. It's an exit velo prison. Um, uh, some people like playing here. I've actually seen a lot of people that like to play at Franco. I personally... Don't think it's one of my favorites but here are my five favorite minor league stadiums coming in at number five is all american park um i just think it's a really pretty stadium too that's kind of one of the reasons why i label stadiums a certain way is one i think of how they play and two just how they look and all american looks great obviously the time of day will be the same for every ballpark that i mentioned here you want to either be playing at june 11 a.m or october 7 p.m there might be some other time in between here that plays well and you guys can comment and let me know what that is but you know you're either going to be playing in the sun all day in a june 11 a.m game or you're going to be playing at nighttime all game in an october 7 p.m game with part or uh, clear skies as well and you know this is for you and your opponent if you play at different times in different months the sun can become an issue the clouds can become an issue so those two times are the only two that i would recommend playing at my number four ballpark in the game is Statesman Park. Um, this game, this field's played a little bit iffy uh, the past couple of years, but uh, last year I thought it played pretty well. And this year from the few games I've played on it, it's played even better. They've also updated a couple of the Statesman Park logos in the game and a couple of the background buildings as well to further add to the allure of like the architecture of the, of the old uh, stadium itself. And again, I, I enjoy playing here and I have it as my number four uh, minor league stadium. Coming in at number three, and you could argue it for two and you could argue it for one, but Ship It Stadium, I have it three because if you guys did not know, they reduced the elevation significantly on Ship It Stadium in MLB The Show, but it still plays somewhat well. And the number one thing about Ship It that... I feel like sets it apart from every other field in the game is the batter's eye. It has by far the largest batter's eye in the game. You can see the ball well, whoever's throwing. Um, I really wish that there was an option to change batter's eyes in these minor league parks. It would make a lot more stadiums viable. But even with Ship It getting reduced elevation, Ship It's still number three in my minor league stadiums here. Coming in at number two is probably the number one, well, without a doubt, number one, uh, Hitters Park for minor league stadiums. That is Laughing Mountain Park. Uh, Laughing Mountain's played at a really high elevation, and it's a giant, it's like Comerica with it regards to like left center and right center. It's just a triples alley out there. So you have a lot of opportunity for offense at a ballpark like this and short walls and left and right field to pull it down the line as well. And you get a lot of fun home run shots as well at Laughing Mountain. And it comes in at number two for my favorite minor league stadiums. Now, coupling everything that I talked about together, 
with beauty and batter's eye and how the field plays. And it all rounds out to my number one field this year, which is capital field. Uh, one, I'm a little biased. I think it meshes with my you know own logo and my colors very well. But I really enjoy capital field, man. Like I think it plays a lot better than it played last year. I loved it in MLB 20. I didn't like it in MLB 21. And I'm really enjoying it so far in MLB 22. And also, again, that batter's eye is great. And like I mentioned earlier, the two times a day, June 11 a.m. Uh, clear skies and October 7 p.m. Uh, clear skies. Now, I've just started dabbling into creative stadiums and looking at what some of my favorite ones are. And that'll be a separate video covering like my 10 favorite creative stadiums in the game right now. But for right now, uh, the logo's not coming in here for some reason, but the Coliseum is by far my favorite one that Tater Todd built last year. And I really enjoy it. So if you guys are on next gen, Definitely download the stadium. I love it a lot. Now going into some MLB stadiums and we'll start with some do nots. And the first do not is Chase Field. One, uh, Exit Velo Prison. Two, there's way too many opportunities for like sun to come into play if you choose the wrong time of day. Uh, three, the batter's eye I don't think is very good, especially with, you know, it isn't really a big deal, but like there can be fans on the left and right side over there and you can't see the ball that uh, very well um, from the batter's eye. But I don't really like Chase Field. I would prefer if he didn't play there. So that's one of them to avoid. Another field to avoid, and it really pains me to say this, but uh, Target Field has got an awful batter's eye this year. I don't know what happened. Um, I have played a couple of games at October 7 p.m. and it hasn't been as bad as it looks in the daytime. But for whatever reason, my home ballpark, Target Field, just does not play well online primarily because of the atrocious batter's eye here, but that's another stadium to avoid. And then another stadium to avoid uh, for me is Globe Life uh, Field. I don't think the batter's eye is very good. I feel like this is one of those issues where there's so many assets in the stadium that it might not you know, play very well. And it, to me, it hasn't played very well ever since it came into the game. But let's go into a couple major league stadiums that I think play very, very well. So uh, first one, Oriole Park, otherwise known as Camden Yards. I actually really enjoy playing here, uh, preferably at uh, nighttime, but June 11 a.m. is not bad either. Um, you know, we're, we're fortunate this year that we finally have major league stadiums that at least feel like they play somewhat tolerable online. For those that don't know, um, in years prior, we didn't really play at MLB stadiums because the assets were so much that it like kind of caused the game to lag a little bit. And that doesn't seem to be the case this year. So I'm really enjoying, um, playing at a major league stadium so far in MLB 22 and Oriole park is one of them. Another one that I did not know I was going to like until I matched up with someone as a road team here and then I went to a home game after to test it out again was Wrigley Field. It actually played really well, man. And the batter's eye is not bad. Um, I love and I mean, I'm not I'm not breaking news here, but right field's fun with like the extended wall out there adds to a little bit more flair for balls in the alley down the line. But Wrigley Field actually plays really well this year as well. Now, undoubtedly, the number one um, MLB stadium to play at is Coors Field. It has the highest elevation of the game. It has, to me, a pretty solid batter's eye. It has everything you would want as a hitter to reward you. And it's been uh, somewhat community favored for a while. Um, I haven't had really any problems playing at Coors Field. And I really enjoy playing here again at the same time of day that I mentioned before. And finally, I think Angel Stadium is another one that I really enjoyed that actually was a feature of my last YouTube video. Maybe it's one or two videos ago. It's the one with Kenny Lofton on the thumbnail that I just uploaded. Um, really, really fun game that I played at Angel Stadium, and I really enjoyed it. But my one caveat I would say is that this is a stadium that you can only play at October 7 p.m. Because the sky in the background, as you saw in my gameplay, was so bright. The first couple innings, there wasn't a lot of offense to be had. Kind of distracting uh, with that sky in the outfield. So I would say if you play Angel Stadium, make it October 7 p.m. But that wraps up the video. Uh, just breaking down stadiums to play at, time of day to play at as well. Comment what video or what stadiums you liked that I suggested. Comment ones you didn't really like. But overall, just want to make a short little video breaking down stadiums that I like in MLB 22. I appreciate you guys for watching. Got a ton of more videos coming out soon, so make sure you click the like button. Uh, sub to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Almost at 4,200 subs right now. And, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later.